So we are given two charges plus Q and minus Q and in between we have a circular region and we need to find the flux across this circle. So first thing by symmetry you can see that whatever flux is crossing through this region because of plus Q same amount will be crossing in the region because of minus Q because of symmetry and directions will also be same so both the fluxes will get added up so by symmetry flux due to both charges passing through circles will be same so flux is two times flux due to one charge so let's calculate the flux due to plus q and we can multiply it by two to get the total flux through the region now here we are going to use the concept of solid angle so it's so if if uh, a circle makes an angle theta with the with the radial line then this conical shape which you will get so the solid angle through that conical shape is 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta and the total solid angle for the whole spherical cone if you can call it such a thing is 4 pi so once again the if we have an half angle of theta then in this cone solid angle is 2 pi into 1 minus cos theta and for the if you have the whole sphere then the whole sphere about this point is subtending the solid angle of 4 pi so flux through this solid angle is this solid angle due to the cone divided by the whole solid angle times the total flux that crosses a closed region around plus q so that we know is q in by epsilon the total flux in a closed region multiplied by fraction of this solid angle which is 2 pi 1 minus cos theta divided by 4 pi So here cos theta will be L upon root of L square plus R square and the other terms will get cancelled. This should be your answer. So once again what we did is 2 times flux due to plus Q and flux due to plus Q is this solid angle divided by whole solid angle times total flux. And total flux for a charge is Q by epsilon times this fraction of solid angles that gave our answer.